Uh, hello, my friend. Uh, in our last video, so we made this checkbox function. So if we click, yeah, we can filter by this checkbox. But what we are going to do in this video is we will filter this product uh, with the price. So it's like this. But the difference between this radio box and this checkbox is uh, we can click these multiple things for this checkbox, but for the radio box, so we can only click one thing. So it will be a little bit different, but it will be so similar to this one. So to make this radio box, first we need to make the radio list data. Uh, as we did for this uh, checkbox list data, it will be the same as that. So after making this radio list, uh, we will make a template for radio box, just this one. It will be also very similar to this one. And after that, we will make an unchange function and we will also update, check the radio box state into the parent component. So first we will make this radio list data. So go to our text editor. Uh, first we need to make the radio box component, like the checkbox component. So inside this section, I'll make that radio box and JS. In here, RFCE for the functional component. So in here, I'm going to bring the price risk data. So is the price data. So the first one is for any of the price. And the second one is the from zero dollar to one hundred ninety nine dollar and two hundred to two hundred forty nine dollar. So put this one in here. After I'll make a template for radio box. So we will also use this uh, and to design for the template. So now I made all, all of the template for this radio box. So now I want to turn on this application by typing npm run dev. So in here, first we need to bring this component inside the landing page. So bring this component. So import radio box from sections and radio box we need to put this radio box in here this will need also this props for later and I save it and come back to our application so you can see it like this uh, but we cannot see anything in here right now maybe there is some problem but first I want to change this template is styling into this one so inside one row we will have two columns so for that we will use the end design so gutter for the margin and core for again column and large 12 and extra small is 24 it will be the same for this one and we will put this checkbox inside in here and put this radio box inside in here save it and here so now we got a better styling but i also need to give the name for this one so come back to checkbox in here we can give the name in here continent so it also has the name like this but when we click this price we cannot get any other value for this one so we come back to our radio box what is the problem so I think there are two problems in here that is it has to be the parentheses instead of 
Ah, uh, yeah, it has to be the parentheses instead of the curly brace, like this. And then this one is the function, so I need to put it like this. So come back in here. So so now we can have the value for the price. So the next thing we need to do is to make unchanged function for this one. Uh, this one's name will be just the uh, handle change. Okay, const handle change. Yeah, we will get the event that come from this one. So we need to put the value in here. Uh, the value, we need to make the state in here. But why did I put this one outside of this function? Okay, it has to be inside the function and use the state. Then we will just value. Okay, and state will be just a uh, zero because it starts from the zero. You put this value in here and then set value here, event target and value like this and then we need to import this one from here so now I try to go back to our application and I click it so it has changed well as I click something so after setting the value we also need to uh, update this value into the our parent component which is a landing page like we did for this checkbox by using this handle filter props so we get the props and then handle filter and we put this value we just clicked this, this click the value and then we need to put this props inside in here so now inside the landing page so um, it has to be the price for the category so in here if we just click anything so we will see this the filter that will be printed out inside the console make it bigger so you can see better so i will just click all the filter two and then click this one one or two like this we can get all the filters in here like this and we will also see this new filter in here so i will click this one click this one this one this one this one like this you can see the older filters that put together are inside this new filter so that's what we needed to do for this section and in our next video we are going to keep making this radio box filter so thank you for watching this video and see you in our next video thank you